I think Cameron has discovered in the later part of the renegotiation that um, the ground has been perhaps a little bit easier than he might have expected. Why might that be? I think the main reason is that Europe has what some people call a polycrisis at the moment. Migration at the top of the list, dealing with Russia, concerns about terrorism, uh, an arc of instability to the south and to the east, economic crises, Greeks may come back, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Um, set against all of these things, the Britain crisis looks rather different. Um, first of all, it looks solvable in a way that some of the other ones don't. If you can get the package right, if you can produce something that Cameron feels that he's able to credibly sell during the referendum campaign in Britain. Um, it also looks like a headache that you really don't want to have. If you're dealing with all of these sorts of problems, some of which are being described not unreasonably as existential, then I think the last thing you want is to see your second largest economy, um, a major foreign policy and security power leaving the club, um, bringing fresh waves of instability, empowering Eurosceptics in other countries. So what I've been hearing from people is that there is actually a lot of appetite to present Cameron with something that he's able to sell at home. Um, David Cameron, I think, has actually made that job for them a little bit easier by over the course of several years of this renegotiation, um, steadily rowing back his demand. You compare what is in the, um, the final package to um, some of the things that the Prime Minister said that he wanted two or three years ago, full-on treaty change, this immediate ban on, um, and, and total ban on in-work benefits for, for EU migrants for four years. Um, compare that to what he's got, and it's, uh, it looks like pretty thin gruel. So the feeling may be in other capitals, well, this is annoying, it's another carve out, it's another special deal for, for Britain, but we can't afford to have Britain lose, uh, can't afford to lose Britain at this stage, um, and we're not actually sacrificing that much anyway.